Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, and this is the uh, another video talking about the NVIDIA uh, Jetson TX2 development board. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the whole board, and it's probably look much bigger uh, on the video than actually in real life if I put something in comparison to it. And this is my mouse, and so you can see actually the development kit is not that large, right? So it's pretty much um, maybe a little bit larger than a mouse or two mouses. Um, but as you can see, um, uh, let me zoom in. And as you can see, this is NVIDIA Jetson TX2. Right now it's actually running some application and uh, the fan is actually spinning. And... Uh, um, I don't know how the audio is capturing the background noise, but right now I cannot hear anything, and this is really quiet. Um, and there are lots of features on it, which I explained and covered in my first video, so feel free to um, um, go back and watch it if you have any question about the board itself. But right now I want to show you a application that... Um, currently I'm running, um, which is called Yulo. So actually, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. As you can see, I'm connecting my um, development board uh, to a monitor. Right now, the monitor, actually the computer is running a Ubuntu and I have a application that is maximized uh, here, which is, as you can see, if I with my hand, it's act actually capturing the scene through this um, onboard camera. This one, as you can see, it's a little bit it's a little bit small, but it's a five megapixel, uh, I think, pretty high resolution camera. Um, so the application that I'm running is called Yulo, uh, Y O L O, uh, which is actually short for you only look once. It's a pretty um, common framework currently being used for object detection, right? So in this case, as you can see, it's taking uh, real-time live videos of my living room and it will be able to detect what are the objects uh, in real life, right? It, it will, be, in this case, it will be able to detect we have a clock, uh, uh, we have a chair, and I'm surprised it even knows it's a teddy bear. It's, as you can see, it's a real size, uh, human sized teddy bear. And when I move into the video, it will be detect actually I'm a human being. So that's good. And just for the sake of experiment, let's play something else, right? So in this case, I will um, put my cup in this video and see if it will be detected. Okay, as you can see now it's, able to number one locate right they say this white object is a uh, um, exist and they draw a uh, rectangular uh, around it and it and then next is able to detect is actually a cup i don't know why but clearly when you're holding your cup in certain positions it doesn't recognize and it, as you can see it even recognized as a kind of a remote control i don't know if that's because of the um patterns right the printed patterns i, I got this cup after watching uh, some tv shows and i bought this from amazon um, but uh, most of the time i think if you hold your cups in certain positions it will be able to tell um, okay so it's pretty exciting uh, application and i'm super surprised to see um, a development kit this small will be able to do real-time streaming uh, object detection. I tried to set this up on my even um, MacBook Pro, but the version that I have doesn't have a uh, NVIDIA card um, built in. And uh, of course, you cannot install CUDA. And if you're just using CPU for this uh, type of video, um, or kind of a visual related 
um, application is just super, super small. Right now we have maybe, uh, I don't know, a frames of, I don't know, 10 to 20 frames per second, which is okay, right? So if you have something fancy, uh, like a gaming machine um, that has uh, maybe ten, uh, some beefy uh, GPUs like a 1050 or 1070 or even um, 1080. I think this application can run much smoothly. Um, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it took me a while to set, uh, set this up. Um, um, the Jetson, um, um, I think most of the challenges is there are two dependencies uh, you need to figure that out. Number one is OpenCV, which is very important. And uh, uh, another one is uh, YOLO framework itself, which is actually not that too hard. So OpenCV is probably the most time consuming part and you need to get all the libraries installed. Um, there are lots of tutorials and uh, documents out there, uh, which I'm going to add to my blog post. but. Um, this is it. Hopefully this is a fun project and if you have a um, computer that has a GPU on it or if you happen to also have a Jetson, NVIDIA Jetson, um, feel free to share uh, your project with, uh, with me and uh, uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you. Thanks.